thank you very much. Uh, um, now, let's cross the uh, English Channel uh, to uh, England. The English have music. Well, as a matter of fact, this is going to come to a surprise to a lot of you. Uh, Danny Boy is actually English, written by an English uh, barrister or lawyer, as it were, a guy by the name of Frederick uh, Weverly. He was also a great lyricist and wrote over 3,000 lyrics in his time. So in 1910, he wrote the lyrics to uh, Danny Boy, but it almost died out until his uh, sister sent him the melody of London Derriere. That's why if you're at a venue and you see London Derriere, then you're just going to get excuse me, the uh, music of Danny Boy. If, if you see Danny Boy, then you're going to get both the lyrics and the melody. And it goes uh, something like this. Thank you. Thank you. I just look, well, my mom, uh, she's from uh, County Cork and the, uh, the uh, McCarthy clan, and so that was one of her favorites. I never told her it was a British piece of music. <laughs> okay, but now we do, we cross over to the uh, Emerald Island, and uh, one of my favorite places. And uh, yes, there is a, a song entitled, uh, uh, have you ever crossed the seas to Ireland or Galway Bay? And it Now, as you know, there were several really great movies I made in Ireland, and not the least of which, 1952 release of The Quiet Man, starring uh, John Wayne and uh, Maureen O'Hara, uh, Victor McLaughlin, and uh, uh, John, produced by John Ford. And John Ford, uh, as his uh, a friend Victor Hugo, uh, but, no, not Victor Hugo, uh, Victor Young, to do the uh, scores for the movie. Well, in the meantime, he had a guy coming up, uh, he was a policeman uh, li and uh, uh, composer, and he composed the following song, and John liked it so much that it became the theme song for uh, his movie called The Isles of Innsfree. And don't try to find Innsfree on a map because it's another name for Ireland. Okay, and it goes something like this. Well, one of the reasons why I like this too, I I'll try to do it just as, listen to the melodic, melodic tones.
to, for all you for all you Irishmen out there. Yeah, thank you. Okay, as we leave the uh, beautiful Emerald Island, we cross uh, westbound, uh, affectionately known as crossing the pond. There's several guys in this room that have crossed the pond several times across the Atlantic, and uh, would make landfall in uh, Gander, Newfoundland, and then uh, d down into uh, Canada. And uh, one of my favorite uh, vocalists, a gal by the name of Celine Dion from Ontario, and uh, she uh, did a melody called The Power of Love. And it goes something like this. She dedicated it to her husband. This is what put her on the map. Thank you. Uh, by the way, uh, when she first uh, put that out, uh, it became so popular that in a short uh, period of time, it sold several million copies. And uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, we come back to my favorite country in the world, the great United States of America. And as you know, after tremendous influx of immigrants in the early 1800s, they started to move uh, westbound using Canastoga wagons made in Canastoga, uh, Pennsylvania. Now those babies held 14 tons or, or 28,000 pounds of stuff. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, and of course, uh, there were many obstacles in their way, uh, not the least of which was uh, the wide Missouri. And uh, a beautiful piece of music came from that and uh, it went something like this. Thank, thank you very much. Kind of an interesting aside, they don't really know where that uh, melody came from, but they do know that boatsmen uh, up and down the Ohio and uh, Mississippi and the Missouri River uh, used to hum it. So we got it from there. And then unfortunately, our country was headed for civil war in 1861. But out of that terrible tragedy did come some pretty uh, uh, nice music, not the least of which is uh, a melody called Aura Lee. Then uh, when Elvis Presley got out of the army, he uh, converted it and had the words written to Love Me Tender. Okay, so he first auditioned it on uh, Ed Sullivan's show on a Sunday night show, 
and it sold two million copies before it was ever recorded. First time a, a golden record was ever uh, manufactured. It goes uh, something like this. Thank you. You're, you're too kind, but thanks very much. I really appreciate that. Okay, and now in conclusion, you've all heard uh, the uh, axiom that uh, it ain't over until the fat lady sings. Well, okay. Well, that fat lady in modern day time, actually it, it came from uh, uh, many uh, opera stars back in Germany and whatnot, and they were pretty rotund ladies. Well, this lady was rotund and she made it to it, Kate Smith. And yeah, okay. So Kate Smith always ended her shows with God Bless America. And uh, so I'm going to end my show. And if anybody wants to join in with me, please do so. Whistling? You can whistle or you can <laughs> sing. Before we go, a couple of comments on whistling. One of the advantages of being able to uh, whistle melodically is, uh, one, uh, you've always got your instrument with you. Two, it doesn't take up much room. And three, try, play, try playing your electric guitar in the shower. <laughs> okay, guys. Hey, th thanks a million, and uh, have a safe trip home. All right. Thank you.